the USDFLD and VUSDFLD subroutines in Abacus will be covered in this workshop. You will learn when you need to use the USDFLD and VUSDFLD subroutines, which are applied in Abacus Standard and Abacus Explicit. You learn about block and interface, which are two approaches for coding these subroutines, as well as all of the variables involved. The difference of these two subroutines and choosing which one is better for your problem will be explained in details to you as well. Also, if you have one of the USDFLD or VUSDFLD subroutines, in addition to knowing the difference between the two, you will know how to convert the two subroutines to each other. In addition, the point that must be completed in the Abacus software graphical interface in order to employ these two subroutines will be explained. Finally, you will be provided a detailed explanation of how to use this subroutine in both methods in each round of workshop. To utilize these subroutines, you must first understand Abacus and subroutines, how they are related and an overview of subroutine writing in Abacus. You can read related articles in our website. This package offers an introduction to the USDFLD and VUSDFLD subroutines and you can thereafter turn to the advanced package for this field. This training package is more than 90 minutes of instructional video with subroutine writing tips as well as simulation of practical examples to fully learn how these two subroutines are written and all the required files including subroutines documents and software files will be given. To prepare this training package you may make a purchase from our website at the link provided. And you can follow our videos on all social network including LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter and YouTube. First, we'll look at when you might need to use the USDFLD and VUSDFLD subroutines. You can use these subroutines when you need to make adjustments to the material. Assume your elastic modulus in a sphere changes as the radius changes. You can use these subroutines to do so, or you can make cohesive damage dependent on another variable. In addition to the variables provided in the software graphical interface. Alternatively, instead of the progressive damage mode found in the software graphical environment, Give immediate damage state, USDFLD and VUSDFLD have a very broad scope. And in general, you can use these two subroutines whenever you have a parameter in the software material environment that you wish to rely on another variable. As previously stated, the distinction between these two subroutines is their solver which is USDFLD and VUSDFLD in a standard Abacus and Abacus explicit solver respect V is a number of the state variables represented in the bar in general tab. The next variable is the cousin of angle between the direction of the material with respect to the general coordinate system. For example, if the general coordinate system is shown here and the material coordinate system is shown in red, then direct 1, 1 is represented. As you can see, each of them is colored red and blue. 
indicating the, that the direction 2, 1 is the cousin angle formed by the direction 1 of material and the direction 2 of the global coordinates and it will be the same for the other. T variables is similar to direct variable except that the direction of the elements is different. For example, to implement the USDFLD subroutine in this tutorial. Under compressive force, a soil with varied modulus of elasticity at different depth is simulated in this example. together and then call each of them. The abacus model is the first on left while the subroutine model is the second on right. The stress distribution in the fixed side of the subroutine model is non-uniform. We will model a FGM with a crack in its spherical geometry in this workshop. Pressure is applied from the inner section of the empty sphere in this model and we examine the stress distribution within it. In this section, we can observe the geometric characteristics of the model, such as the inner and outer radius of the sphere. We will utilize the VUSDFLD subroutine to model damage in composite structure under explosion in this session. These relationships have a number of parameters that are mentioned here. The VUSDFLD function is used to identify damage in, in the matrix and composite fibers. In this case, we can see how the results in each of the parameters change in the form of animation. In this workshop, we will use VUSDFLD subroutine for a single edge connection between two aluminiums connected by cohesive element. These connection specifications are specified for adhesives and aluminium. Fatigue analysis on this adhesive is taken into account in this examination. Adhesive fatigue behavior is based on a paper by Horemshid and Krokom. Step. As you can see, the damage index in the first step is set here, which is equal to zero cycle, that is to resemble a static state of about one cycle. With the animation option, we can now see the result for each cycle. As you can see, as the number of cycles grow, the index damage increases as well. We've reached step 11 of the process. The damage index is close to 1 here, whereas it was around 0 0.7 in step 1. Regularly, the maximum damage index, which is 1, increases more and more in the elements at the end of the aluminium plates. With deletion of the elements, we may see this index at the end of the work. In step 169, I hope you have received the items that you're looking for in this package. Follow us on our social page and website. Have a nice day. Hope to see you again.